Today on Garden Fork, learn how to make a simple grow light. Stay tuned. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an inexpensive grow light that I think you'll like a lot. Let's go look at the cold frame though and see. What's under here? Whee! See this? I mean, it's not really growing very much right now because it's the middle of January. So, let's go in the basement. Okay. Okay. Want to go in and make a grow light? Yeah. The basement we go. I cleaned the basement. So to make a grow light, you can buy a grow light on one of those catalogs and that's just fine if you're not real handy doing that kind of thing. That There's nothing wrong with buying a grow light. But I, um, being a little more frugal, I thought I'd try and make my own grow light. And I've, I've done it for a couple of years now and I've, I've figured out a pretty decent way to do it. What we're going to use are two inexpensive fluorescent fixtures here. These are, uh, you can buy them at home improvement stores or at the big box stores. Oh, big box stores. Those stores that sell large items. You know, and then, you know, basically, you know, these shouldn't cost you more than $10 a piece. And then you have to get the bulbs as well. So what I do is I, um, I grow all my seedlings in a seedling tray like this. What I need, what I want to do now is figure out how much light I need, the width, to go from here to here. So I just, I brought one of my trays and I stick it down here like that and That's sure enough when you gang up two of these, um, it'll cover this very nicely. Who needs math? Who needs math? <laughs> By the way, the, the pi r squared thing from the cold frame video, I screwed it up. Uh, a, a guy emailed me and said we did the math wrong. But it's close. But it worked. <laughs> That's all that matters. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to fasten these two lights together and how to hang them and do uh, plug them into a timer and we'll have a neat little inexpensive grow light for you. What I want to do now is I'm going to get a piece of plywood and the plywood I'm going to screw to the back of these lamps. Does that make sense? No, but you're going to show us. I'm going to show you right now because we're going to use power tools. Whee! Power tools! What was that? It's the power, it's the power, <laughs> it's the power tool dance. <laughs> Do I look like I'm ready to go to a Star Wars convention with my homemade costume? Nice, huh? Alright, so this is just a scrap piece of uh, plywood I cut. What we do now is your... I need a screwdriver. On your fluorescent fixture, there's going to be a way to get into the back of the fixture, and here, it's this uh, little insert. So again, make sure these aren't plugged in when you do this. We're going to screw from the backs of the fluorescent fixture into the wood. So I just got these little screws. These are zip screws. They're used for um, putting metal studs in houses, so this will cut through the thin metal. Bet that doesn't happen on uh, this old house. We're gonna pop these back in again. As far as bulbs, you know, you can buy these uh, special grow light bulbs, but you know, you're not growing orchids here. We're just growing some tomato seedlings and, and you know, hot peppers or whatever. So I just use regular fluorescence. For what we're doing, we're doing something really simple. We're just trying to get a jump start on the season. Regular cool whites or normal white bulbs work just fine. Okay, so we have our bulbs in. Now what we're going to do now is on the flip side of this, we're going to find the center. Will we be eyeballing it? Yeah, we're going to eyeball it, of course. <laughs> I've got two uh, screw eyes, the open kind of screw eye hooks. Just two? Um, yeah, I'll show you what I'm doing. It's, you know, there's a method to my Eric Madness here. <laughs> what? That's in the middle between the two. Okay, so we have screw eyes and there are a piece of wood. We've got a little uh, adapter here so we can put two plugs into a timer. The grow lights need to be on 16 hours a day because you're never going to fully simulate sunlight. So the 16 hours compensates for the low amount of light. Um, and this is a really nice timer. You can use those kind that have the clock face too. They work just fine as well. All right, so we are at what is usually the laundry counter. It is, uh, it's a nice white counter. 
but in the late winter, early spring, it becomes the seedling tray grow area. So we've got these screw eyes here, and then up in the ceiling here, I put another screw eye, and I got this neat kind of chain that hooks in very nicely to this right here. I use the chain because you can adjust the height of the grow light as the seedlings start to grow up, you can raise the grow light. So the chain works well. Nice, huh? So we've got our timer. I'm going to take our two lights and plug them into a, a little adapter. The adapter plugs into the side of the timer. And now for the lighting ceremony. Hey, look at that. When you're growing seedlings, these lights have to be smack on top of these trays um, because it's uh, not a whole lot of wattage coming out. It's not the sun. It's not, you know, how many miles away it is. So these trays have to be, they have to be literally right here. The leaves will grow right and they'll start to curl around the bulbs. And that's okay because these bulbs aren't hot. All right, so when you start... you raise it, right? You raise it. That's why we have the chain. So you put your tray in here, you have your seedlings here, you have your little cover on here, and these lights are smack on top of these trays here. I'm going to plant some heirloom tomatoes and uh, whatever else my wife wants. Is it too early? Because it's like January and if you, doesn't it weaken them if you start them too early? I, you know, we're in New England here, so it just really depends on when your frost is. I would start your tomato plants two months before the frost, and we're going to talk about that, and I'm going to show you how I do it. But we start out in these trays, and I kind of have a whole Eric way to do it, so. But anyway, this is a really neat, it's inexpensive. You know, it's the cost of a couple of fixtures. You might already have these laying around. You can find them. I found these on sale for $5 a piece. They were, they were marked down for some reason. I don't know why. But you just you use the chain to adjust the height here. I don't really know the benefit of leaving the light on 24 hours a day, but maybe, maybe you can do that. But we put the timer on to save some energy. I bet they need to sleep, too. I don't know if plants sleep. I think they need just some time off. They need some time off. Um... <laughs> You know, you can do this. It's not too hard. If you don't feel confident doing this, buy some grow lights from one of the catalogs. They're really, they're really well built. They're nicely done. This is just kind of the Eric version of a grow light. Chains into the ceiling, piece of plywood, some lights. Again, keep the plants really, really close we'll show you to when the we lights. Start growing. When we start we'll growing, you. we'll show you. All right, thank you. Uh, visit the website, gardenfork.tv, for more information. And tell your friends about the show. We need more people to come watch the show. All right? Drop it.